Next, we're going to talk about the shop search tool. So in the left hand menu, if you go to shop search, click that and come here. I'm just going to minimize the menu bar. And I'm going to talk about how to search for shops using a keyword. So it's fairly self-explanatory here. Just go ahead and type in your seed keyword, let's say your search keyword, I should say. I'm going to look for forge or let's say forged. And I'll go ahead and search for the uh, page range you want. And you can do alphabetically most recent relevancy. I'm just going to stick with relevancy and click search. So now it's going out and grabbing all this information directly from Etsy. And we have a whole bunch of awesome data here that you can use in your research when you want to research particular shops. So you can get the rank position, the name owner, the, the amount of items, sections, hearts, sales, reviews, how many members are in their team, shop location, title, even external web links that you can go and do some further investigation and research on particular shops. So like Facebook, their website, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, like you got awesome, awesome data here. And as with the uh, product search, you can also see the shop images directly inside the grid. And you can change the sizes like so. Now, if you're having troubles with this particular feature, because you do have to have a fast internet connection, sometimes this can cause troubles if your internet is not fast. You can go ahead and just use the preview down here, just like in the other tool, you can preview two different ways. In the HTML table, so you can see in a nice table format where you can sort, you can search, you can view the image bigger just by hovering over top. In addition, you can view it in the feed format by sales and you can sort by reviews, hearts, items, search as well. And it gives you all this information. You can see their external links. So you can go to Facebook and you can do more inv investigations of what's going on here on Facebook and all the other different links. So it's very powerful. Another really awesome thing here is on Etsy, some product uh, shop owners will allow users, allow people to actually view their sales, their recent sales. And you'll see that some links here in the shop sales column will actually be links. Some of them are not, some of them are. So this particular seller is not allowing you to see their sales, but this one is. So if you click there, you'll be able to see all the recent sold items that that particular shop did. Now from my research and um, looking through endless amounts of pages on Etsy. If you go through too many pages at once, Etsy will recognize you're looking at too many um, shop page or shop sales pages, and they will limit your internet act, not, not you know, limit your access to viewing sales for I think 24 hours or something like that. So, you know, you'd have to do it a lot though on here. You have to search a crazy amount of pages before that would happen, but that gives you another cool thing to do. You can actually see all the recent sales and what products they're selling. You can also go look at the reviews, the owner, and as well as the um, shop name, all sorts of wicked stuff. So you can, as with the other tools, you can go ahead and you can save this to project file, CSV, text, and you can also export this data into the HTML files, which are the data file and the feed files. And what's really awesome about this, if you're doing research, for another company, you can actually extract this, you can provide this data to your, your clients. So let's say, for example, you want to provide these, this particular um, file, you can just save it. And I wanna to go to where I just saved that so I can click on any file button, go to open last working folder, and that's where I just saved it. And you can see there's that table report right here. Now you can take this actual report, this file, and you can deliver it to your customers exactly the same as a PDF file or a Word document. Just give it to them, and all they have to do is when they get it through email, they can put it on their computer, they double click it, it just opens up inside of their default web browser, and as long as they have an internet connection, they can view all of this just like a file, like any other file, and I think this type of file, a self-contained HTML file, is much more powerful than a PDF because in the PDF, you can't sort, you can't search, you can't hover your mouse over top and view images. Much more powerful piece of, a much more powerful report to deliver to your clients than a PDF, in my personal opinion. And not only that, you can also do a report like so. You can actually show them in a, in a feed format, like in cards, this is a card format. So this is very powerful in your 
clients will be very, very impressed with the quality of the reports when they receive it because they'll never see anything like this before. <laughs> They're expecting maybe some sort of Excel document or something like that. I mean, you can deliver that as well. You do have the options to save this to CSV as well as text. So that's pretty awesome. Now, when you save it as a project file, you can only load it back into the shop search tool as a project file. So this is a specific file to only this particular tool. So you can't really deliver this to your clients. This is just for inside the software. And as with all the other tools, you also have the uh, quick filters from the top. So if you want to search, you just type, or if you want to select um, quick filters that are predefined, or you can actually just put your own in there. I will make another video to explain how to use the filters more in depth. And that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.